So I guess um, let's start at the beginning. What, what got you into poker in the first place? Um, I don't know. I just love to play cards. And, you know, I, I don't know how to play cards at a young age. I remember playing IG Player World when I was four or five years old. Yeah. And uh, what else? The, uh, what's the other game I used to do? Little kid games. But anyway, I used to play like a lot of like crazy eights. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, I just like to play. And, uh, you know, uh, my grandfather taught me how to play poker. Kind of like taught me the rules and everything. We used to play with pennies. Yeah. And, you know, I, just, I love to play. Every chance I got, I would go friends' house or whatever. I would see if they play poker or whatever. We would just do our hands and play. And so then when did you make the transition to start playing for, like, real money and wanting to play for a living? Oh, well, right away in high school, I used to play for, you know, real money you know, all the time. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say real money. It was real money to me then. Yeah, but, high school. Yeah, and... Um, uh, you know, when I, I don't say when I was around 20, 21, I decided to do it for a living. I really take it seriously. Well, you were playing in casinos before that. I was playing in casinos before that, but I wasn't really trying to make a living at it. No. I just liked to play. You know, it was something I would just do. This is a hobby. Just kind of, I would sit down there and play, and I, you know, I loved it. And you know, I just thought it was a fascinating game. I didn't really think too much about making a living at it because I don't know. I just didn't really wasn't just I wasn't, wasn't really yeah. I didn't really think too much about it. But then when I started making money, I started looking at the other players that were playing. I said, hey, wait a second, I think I, I, could, I could beat these guys. And, you know, that's why I said, you know what, well, let, me just, let me just put everything I have into this and see where it goes. Were you into sports in high school? Or were you a real competitive guy? I was always very competitive, yeah. You know? You think that's a big part of it? It's a big part of it. Yeah, you gotta, you got to hate losing. You know? and, and, you know, it's of course. Yeah. I mean, uh, no, I, I, I don't like to lose, you know, and, but, you know, in poker, it humbles you because you realize that no matter how good you are, you know, you're going to have lose, you're gonna have losing days, you're going to have losing weeks, you know, you're even going to have some losing months. I mean, I haven't, haven't had a losing year yet, thank God, but, you know, you know you're going to, you know, you have to be, a, you have to learn how to deal with losing in order to become a better winner. So that's why I think poker is such a wonderful game. I mean, there's guys that play like certain sports that hardly ever lose. You know, with poker, you're gonna have to lose like this is the way you're gonna you know, you're gonna lose more hands than you win in an hour most of the time. It teaches you a lot about yourself, I guess, and, and how you handle the the ups and downs of swing. Yeah, you learn about yourself, and also you teach yourself how to deal with the ups and downs, and also how to how to control your thoughts and your negative thoughts. How to you know how to control you know what you're thinking, realize why you're thinking what you're thinking. You know you really learn a lot about yourself if you get deep into poker. If you uh, if you become one of the best players in the world, you really really you have to learn a lot about yourself in order to become you know one of the best players in the world. Are you aware that of, of how much people fear you at the poker table? Is this something you're conscious of? You know I, I hear that all the time, but you know what really. When I sit down and play with someone, it's not like they say, hey, Phil, I fear you. You know, they might, maybe maybe some people do, but they, it's not like they say it. So you got to kind of figure it out. You figure it out by how they're playing games against you and everything else. But I mean, how important is, in, is it in poker to create a table image and have that strength? I mean, we you can't create it. The thing is, people try to create these table images. But that hurts them because you can't really create a table. It has to be based off your results and how you do. You know, people try like they want to do like some people want to talk, they want to do this, they want to do that. And I think people more or less know that my images. If you if you mess with me and you play a certain way against me, I'm going to get your money. You know, that's like when you cash me out. Eventually, I'm going to get it. You know, so that I think basically the fear is from the results of what happens with you when they do certain things or they place it a certain way or whatever, you know, you have to be able to make those adjustments to what they're doing. A lot of players out there nowadays, you know, I was talking like Lattis earlier, he started this Deep Stacks University and, and the Grand who has poker beats, BT and stuff like that. How come we're still out of poker school? Why don't you, how come you do something like this? I mean, do you, yeah. do you not talk about... Uh, I don't mind talking about... Um, strategy. Strategy in poker. I really don't know what these guys are... Uh, how much money they're making. 
all of these things, but it's a lot of time and work to do these things, you know, and they don't, uh, to be honest, oh, well, to be honest, sorry about that, to be honest, uh, you know, Daniel and Mike Madison and the rest of these guys that are doing these poker routines and poker routines, they don't play as much poker as I do. I, you know, I play poker all the time, and I think that's what keeps my edge, it keeps me as sharp as I am. Uh, you know, when I'm playing, they, they, they have more time. They have more free time than I do. I, you know, I'm a, I love to play poker. You know what I mean? I still do. So, it'd be kind of like, I think a lot of these guys, they wonder why their games are suffering and everything else because they don't, they don't work as hard as I do. You know, like, uh, it'd be kind of like, um, it'd be kind of like, I don't know, Michael Jordan playing basketball and in his sixth season now all of a sudden instead of playing basketball he's, he's uh, doing how to play poker uh, seminars or how to play instead, of, instead of missing a basketball game and doing that yeah. you know, to me it's like it's not it's not me I'm not nothing against him you know Daniel's a really good friend of mine I love that you know um, and that works for him but for me I don't think you know hey maybe there'll come a time hey maybe, maybe if the money was right and and I thought I could really uh help some people and give some information that's not available to them now and really, you know, then maybe maybe I'll be willing to do that, but not right now in my life, it's not right for me. But it's, it's not a conscious decision to try to guard and protect your style of play or your image or anything like that? You don't do those kind of things? Like my style of play, see the thing is, I don't really have a style of play. People think I play a certain way, but really all I do is, is adjust to what my opponent is doing. So my opponent is playing one way, I try to make the proper adjustments, you know, and that's what makes uh, uh, me who I am, you know, at a poker table, is that I'm able to look at you and figure out kind of like what you're thinking and what you're trying to do and, and make those adjustments. So you don't necessarily have, you, I mean, also, you know, following along that lines, you don't do a, a hell of a lot of interviews. You're not trying to, like, that's not a specific, uh, choice that you're making to try to protect your image? No, the thing is, the reason why I don't do many interviews, again, is because, you know, I, I play poker, I come in, I, I, I chose poker uh, for a living, because you know why? Because I'm able to do whatever I want to do. You know, I get up, I play poker when I want to play. I wanna, if I decide to go golf, I go golf. If I decide to go on vacation, I go on vacation. You know, anything I want to do, I'm able to do that. So, if I have a choice between taking an interview with someone, or going to the golf course, having a beer with my friends, or relaxing, or going to a movie, what do you think my choice is going to be? You know, that's just, that's just me. You know, that's just the way I am. You know, so, it's not like I'm against interviews. I'm not. I don't mind doing interviews. I don't mind sitting down and talking to you about poker or anything else. But there's stuff I'd rather be doing besides talking about poker when I'm playing poker 15, 16 hours in a day. You know what I mean? Like, you know, these guys that do all these interviews, they're able to do these interviews because they don't play as much poker as I do. They play poker tournaments. So, they have so much downtime. When you get knocked out of a poker tournament, you, 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 they're not doing anything. When I get knocked out of poker, I'm rushing to the Bellagio to play poker. I'm rushing to the internet to play poker. Or I'm going to the golf course. Or, you know, I'm going to play blackjack, you know. You know, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I would rather be doing. Do you feel, though, that you have a responsibility to help be an ambassador for the game? I mean, because the game's given you a lot. You know, yeah, the game has given me a lot. And I've also... Um, um, uh, I've given, I believe that I've given uh, back to poker as well through, you know, uh, uh, you know, I've helped a lot of poker players. I've helped a lot of people uh, uh, through the years in poker, whether you know that or not, you know, like, as far as like, just in, in a lot of different ways. You know, I mean, my stuff isn't public, but if you ask people, you know, about my, you know, generosity, because I'm sure they would tell you, you know what I mean? So, uh, me being an ambassador to poker, I don't know. I mean, if I win the main event, maybe it would be something that's kind of forced upon me, something that, you know, and I don't really, I don't really mind, you know, I understand, you know, uh, uh, as I'm getting older, I'm trying to understand that it is important, you know, my place in history and poker and 
and doing, you know, the right thing, uh, you know, as far as, you know, by everyone. But at the end of the day, you know, you have to make yourself happy, too. You know, I have to be a happy person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I'm going to, yeah, I'll take the interviews and I'll do the things to, to help grow poker as a sport. I have no problem with doing that, but I'm also not going to, uh, I'm not going to give up my life to do that. You know, I want to have a, I want to keep uh, some type of balance. You know? And I think that's important because, you know, it, 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 it's important because, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just tough to, 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 to do one thing and, and to have that responsibility as being the guy that's going to, that's going to, you know, just make, you know, he make poker like, be, be the ambassador of poker. That's kind of a big responsibility. It is. You had seven WPT final tables before you won one? Yeah. How badly did you want the WPT title? I really wanted to win that WPT title because um, that's one of the uh, one of the things I, I've, I've never done in my po in poker. You know, and I want to accomplish everything before I you know retire, which which I don't know when that would be, probably never. But I, I wanted to. Uh, I really wanted to win that tournament. I mean, I, I made six final tables without winning one. That's very unlike me, you know. Uh, I have a pretty good record at the World Series of Poker for making the final table and winning. So the fact that I, I never made a final table, I made six of them and didn't win, it was really bothering me. So I'm happy to get that, you know, out of the way. So I guess the same thing sort of applies here now at the main event. I mean, you've been close before. This is, yeah. I, you don't, normally people don't get a lot of shots at this kind of thing. It's kind of like, you know, Marino and the... Yeah, the, well, yeah, I have a... I, now I have a shot. You know, I'm in. I mean, I have, um, like, seventh in chips. But you know what? I feel pretty comfortable with that, you know, the, the, the ten, close to 10 million that I have. I don't feel like I'm in a rush. You know, I feel like I could, you know, just take my time and get a hold of some chips. If I have to get all, like, I, if I have to go all in, I will. You know, if, uh, you know, whatever whatever comes to me, you know, I'm just going to try to take it. How badly do you want it, though? Is this something you've been dreaming about? Yeah, it's just beginning. This is something I've definitely been dreaming about. It's be a dream come true to win it. You know, making it to the final table is great. Yes, but I really, really want to win this tournament. I mean, it's very important to me. Um, I, you know, I remember the first time I watched Hope on TV, I've seen Scotty win. Scotty win, 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 the, win the main event. That was the very first time I watched it. That'd be cool to win that tournament, though. You know? yeah, I don't know. I don't have a like Scotty had. Like, <laughs> no, I don't have a no, no, I'm not really much of a lying guy, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna win it. Uh, hopefully, I win this thing, and then I'll uh, I'll uh, <laughs> do my interviews and sneak out the back door and go on vacation. So, just switching gears for a second. Uh, high stakes poker. You're playing at the highest stakes online on Pluto. The game has gone from no limit hold'em to PLO. Now everyone plays PLO. What's next? What do you guys? I don't care what's next. I just hope they just keep playing. That's all. You know. Just to be able to play poker every day is great for me, you know, playing at a high level. That's, that, that, to me, that's important, you know, just to keep me sharp. All right. Thanks, brother. All right.